how do we get to find the length QR? Okay, so without wasting our time, we just jump on the rule which is supposed to be used here. And uh, this rule is called sine rule. Okay, the reason why I'm saying we use sine rule is because we've got two angles and one side. Now, when we look very carefully at the, the side we are looking for, it's QR. It's right here. And for this side to be found, we need, of course, to use this angle moves with that side. This side will move with this angle right over here. But the unfortunate part is that uh, we don't know an angle right over here. So what angle are we dealing with there? How do, are we supposed to get that angle? We're going to use the property of the triangle, which says that uh, this angle plus this angle plus this one must give us uh, a 180. And this property is called triangle property. Okay? So we shall say this point is uh, X, or the angle here is angle X. So we first need to find the angle X. By simply saying uh, angle 42 degrees plus 53 degrees plus the angle at X must give us a 180 degrees. Okay, so we shall add these two. We're getting a 95 degrees plus X is equal to 180. X is equal to 180 degrees minus a 95. So when you subtract here, you are getting 85 degrees. So the angle at point X here is what? Is 85 degrees. Okay. So now we've got uh, all the elements we need for us to use sine rule. So we can now say, we can say, this is capital letter, we shall say this is small letter P. This is capital letter, small letter R, small letter Q. So, of course, I'm pretty sure by now, you know that small letters, these small letters, they represent sides. While the capital letters, they represent angles. So, we shall say, small letter R, which is this side, over sine capital letter R is equal to small letter P over sine capital letter P. This is uh, the sine rule formula. Okay, so we can say what is our small letter R? It's a 16.1 over sine capital letter R that is 85 degrees which is equal to small letter p is what we are looking for over sine capital letter p is a 42 degrees okay so we can cross multiply we are getting a p sine 85 degrees is equal to 16.1 times sine 42 degrees over sine 85 degrees over sine 85 degrees. These two go, we shall remain with a P is equal to when we punch on our calculator 16.1 times sine. So make sure your calculator is in degrees, sine 42. It's giving us a 10.7730276. So you divide by sine 85. So this is giving us a 10.8 degrees. Oh, it's, I, actually it's, it's, it's a side, so it's supposed to be meters. Remember here, we're supposed to have meters, it's in meters. So the side QR is what? Uh, is uh, a 10.8 meters. So we can now find the area. So area of triangle PQR, PQR. So what are the things 
that you're supposed to consider when finding area. Uh, you must use what we call an included angle. So can you see this angle? For this angle to be called an included angle, we must use this side and this side, the sides which are forming an angle. If I want to use this angle, I should use this side and this side when finding area. So I don't have this side, so I can't use this angle. I can't also use this angle. And moreover, in the question here, they are saying angle, uh, triangle P, Q, R, Q, at Q is the angle that I'm going to use. But it's not always that you're supposed to use uh, this. You can even use this angle provided you are given this side and this side. I'm not using this angle because I don't have the side Q. I'm also not using this angle. I don't have uh, this side. The reason why I've decided to use angle Q is because I have this side. I also have this side. I've just calculated the P to be equal to 10.8. And they've already given me the R. So I can use this angle. It's included. So I'll say area is equal to 1 over 2. I'm coming up with my formula. 1 over 2. And then I'll say I'm using R, side R, and side P. Side R, side P. I also say sine. What am I supposed to put here? Which angle? It's angle Q. I'm dealing with angle Q, getting the sides which are forming angle Q. 1 over 2. My R is a 16.1. My P is a 10.8. Sine. 53 degrees. So we can uh, we can now punch on our calculator. 1 times uh, 16.1 times 10.8 times sine 53. This, of course, is giving me uh, 138866 seven four two five divide by two so when i divide by two i'm of course getting a 69.43 meters squared so this is my area or the area of this uh, triangle and for the last question here they're saying we find the shortest distance so for the shortest distance here from uh, R to P, Q. So to find the shortest distance, there is only one formula you're supposed to, to know. So the formula is the formula of finding area of a right angle triangle. So here it will be BH. This is a formula. Others, they get this same formula and make H the subject. So it will look like this. H is equal to 2A over a B. This and this are the same. So what they just did for this one, they multiplied 2 times A, this is a 2A, and divided by B so that they make H the subject. So if you go by this or by this, it's okay, whichever. So in my case, I'll go by the original formula, which is A is equal to 1 over 2 bh so what is my area we found area to be equal to 69.43 in the previous question the area we found was this one is equal to 1 over 2 my b will be a 16.1 h so your b should always be where they are saying 2 pq the length pq that's our B. Always, the two letters, their length, should always be your B. So you can cross multiply here. When you cross multiply, we're getting a 13, uh, I mean, 138.86. Okay. I'll round it off. It's equal to 16.1H. Divide by 16.1, 16.1. These two go, H will simply be equal to, when you divide by 16.1, you're getting 8.63 
meters. So this is the shortest distance. Please follow through. This will give you more marks. So there is one more question. Let me write it for you. One more question, which we need to do together right over here on trig, the same trig question. So let me show you how you're supposed to answer this question. All right, so this is the last question we're doing. They're saying solve the equation six sine theta is equal to negative three, four, 180 is less, 180 degrees is less or equal to theta, less or equal to 360. So solving this equation, you just need to copy what we've been given. So this is what uh, we've been given. Divide by six, by six, this and this will go, we shall remain with a sign. Theta is equal to negative one over a two. Three into three, one into six, it's a two. So here we shall say theta is equal to sine, okay? Inverse of negative one over a two which of course is giving us a negative 30 degrees. So is this the only answer? No. So look at this. These are quadrants. Okay, I want you to see something. So here we see all oh, students take calculus. So you can see that the sign, any sign angle is positive here. All the angles in the first quadrant here, they are positive. Here, sine is positive. Here, 10 is positive. Here, cos is positive. Now, the answer that we have has got a negative sign. So, meaning our answers should not be in this quadrant, should not be in this, because here, sine is positive, here, it's positive. Where sine is negative, it's right over here and here. So, one of the angles will be right over here, because this is a negative 30 degrees. So now for me to show this angle, because angles we calculate them like this. So for me to show this angle, I know that this is 360 degrees. When uh, an angle makes a circle, it forms a 360. So I'll just say 360 minus a 30 degrees. This is giving me a 330 degrees. This is one of the answers. The other answer will be here. I know that this is 30 degrees. From here to here, it's a 30. So I'll say 180 degrees because this is 180 plus a 30. So 180 plus 30, of course, this is giving me a 210 degrees. So my two answers are this and uh, this one. Because if you punch on your calculator, you say sine uh, 110. This is giving us a negative, uh, uh, negative uh, 0 0.5, which is a uh, half. One, uh, negative 0 0.5, which is negative 1 over 2. If I punch sine uh, 30, uh, 330 degrees, it's giving me the same. So these are the two answers I'm supposed to get for this question. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've learned one or two things. Please remember to share this video. This has been Sichamba Jacob. Follow me on my TikTok, my Facebook page, which is uh, Jacob Sichamba Online Mathematics. So at whichever platform that you go to, be it TikTok, uh, Facebook, YouTube, just search Jacob Sichamba Online Math and subscribe or follow also, remember to leave a comment. This will make myself go a long way in helping you because I wish to help as many people as I can. If you're not liking, sharing, it will be difficult for me to help masses. Thank you so much for coming through. Bye-bye.